This is part one of our 11 part series covering brush studio. In this video, we'll be focusing on the stroke path settings. For this example, we'll create a new brush in this set with the plus button just here. We'll make a start by creating a nice preview stroke on our drawing pad. Anything that we paint here will reflect in real time any of the edits that we make to our brush. Stroke path, which is our first set of options, is already selected on the left, so we can jump straight in. The first setting is spacing. Spacing will increase the distance between the individual stamps of the brush's shape along the stroke path. We can use the slider or we can tap on the value field and input a numerical value. The next setting down is Streamline. Streamline controls the amount of smoothing when making a brush stroke and works to remove stuttering and imperfections in the stroke. The trade-off here is that setting Streamline higher will round out sharp changes in stroke direction and can remove expression in the stroke. Next down is Jitter, which controls how far each individual stamp will randomly stray from the stroke path. It's worth a mention that by tapping on the value field here, then our jitter can be set to trigger with different amounts of both tilt and or pressure. If we set pressure enabled on, we have complete control when editing a pressure curve. We can tap to add a new node and then drag these nodes around to adjust the curve. We can remove these nodes individually by tapping on a node and then selecting delete or hit reset to remove all nodes and reset the curve. If we toggle tilt enabled on, then we get to choose at which angle our pencil needs to be before triggering our jitter amount. Lastly is fall off. This controls how quickly, or if at all, our stroke will fade away. And as with the other sliders found across Procreate, once we start moving a slider, the further we drag away, perpendicular from it, the more precise control we have over it. If we'd like to save any edits we've made to our brush, we can hit Done here in the corner, or we can hit Cancel to discard our edits and leave Brush Studio. 